Tell me what y'all think. What y'all really, really think. Like this. I pay some cute stuff. Don't wear this, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Demi. I am your Muslim homegirl, and if you want to be homies with me, you would definitely hit that subscribe button. I don't know why you wouldn't, but by the title of this video, you know I'm giving the girls some eat looks from Shein. So we are not about to pay $100 for an Abaya, $150 for an Abaya. We're going to pay under $50. Everything in this video is under $50 so the girls can look cute on a budget, okay? So the first dress that I'm wearing, it is a dress. It's not an Abaya, but it is a size 12. The scarf is from Shein. It was $3, so get into it, honey. It's like velvety. It's definitely a springtime dress or a fall-time dress because it has some thickness to it. I wouldn't probably wear this in the summertime because I feel like I would get hot, but I think it's so cute. And it's thick girl friendly because y'all know I'm thick. I like the richness of it. It's like magenta. It looks red on camera, but it's like dark magenta, dark purple. I paired it with some white shoes. I'm gonna have all the full body pictures right here just because I didn't really know how to set my camera up to get full body. <laughs> but I paired it with some white shoes. I paired it with white because white just seems so clean and classy. He is the Muslim at Gallo. You wanna look classy and cute. It has this belt right here, but it doesn't have belt loops, so you don't have to necessarily wear the belt. I also really like the bottom of it, and it is giving, honey. I'm really feeling this dress. Let me know what y'all think about outfit number one. I want y'all to rate all the outfits down in the comments, so let's move on to the next one. For this next one, this material is a lot thinner than the previous dress so I feel like it kind of accentuates my boobs a little bit especially because it does have a cinch waist like it has the belt but it also has like some cinching right here so I feel like it doesn't hide my boobs as much as the last one does but that's okay we got this hijab we back with the white hijab honey and we're just gonna have it draped across our chest like this and that'll give us some chest coverage. I do have a video where I show you guys how to style your hijab like this, just so you have some coverage in the front. But aside from all of that, I really do like this dress. I think that my skinny girls can definitely pull this off better than I can. But it's definitely giving elegance. It's giving modesty, I think. This dress was only $24, and I think it's super cute for Eid. It's super simple. If you don't like all of that jazzy stuff, if you a simple girl, this is an Eid outfit for you, especially for $24. Like, come on now, get into it. And you can even wear a different color just so that it's not so sheer because the white, I do find is kind of sheer. Like, you can see my whole arm right here, but... I think you could definitely pull off pink with this outfit and maybe some pink shoes. I do like the bottom of it. The bottom of it is flowy, so it's not like clinging to you. So, so let me know what you guys think about outfit number two. For some reason, I'm just in love with this white scarf today. I don't know why. And I usually don't even wear white scarves, so I'm not sure what this bond is about today. But I think it looks super cute with this dress. This is a dress. It's not really an Abaya but I feel like it's really cute. I love the sleeves. I think these are called bishop sleeves. The last dress that I had on has sleeves like this that are like oversized. This is so cute. I really like it and it does come with the belt, but you can wear it without the belt, of course, but the belt just gives it some shape because without the belt, it looks a little frumpy, I don't know. There is a mirror right here, so I'm just checking myself out for a second. I don't think it looks bad without the belt, but I feel like the belt just gives it a little extra oomph. And I am in love with this color. This color is so pretty. Let me get close to y'all can see. This color is so pretty. The blue is so nice. I love this. I'll try to tie it not too tight, just so it doesn't accentuate my breast. Tell me what y'all think, what y'all really, really think. And I know satin dresses is like kind of the thing right now. It was the thing right now. It was the thing last year. You know, Belle Collection, she has a lot of satin dresses. If you don't know Belle Collection, she's a modest clothing brand. But her dresses are like $100, $150, and they're skinny girl dresses. Like they're like pencil skirts skinny. <laughs> 
this one it's like mermaid style but it's not super tight but i think it's really cute and i think the white shoes look really nice with it so for this one i really like the concept of it like i love a open abaya those are my favorite things open abayas are the best because you could just switch them out and wear a different color underneath it's just the best so this one it's just the open abaya i don't really like this particular one because this part it looks so raggedy. It looks so cheap. It looks like a dead animal. It looks better on a mannequin because it's really not giving what it's supposed to give. Um, the bottom of it looks very bad. Look at it. It's uneven. It's not even like regular. It's just horrible. It's very horrible. <laughs> But it being an open abaya, just like if it was just regularly black, I think the material, the material is like a linen type of material. It's not like a Nita silk. I'm used to Nita, like the underdress that I'm wearing right now. It's Nita. It's from Alshan Tobias. It's great quality. This underdress is $60. It's just a regular sleeveless dress. Um, the hijab I'm wearing is also from Alshan Tobias. It's wide. Like you, you're not about to get this on Shein. This joint was... $28, but it's because it's so wide and it gives you a bunch of covers. Like you could get lost in this freaking scarf. Like look how much it is. And it has sparkly all on it. Like I said, it's $28, but back to the, the abaya and it looks a little short. If y'all can see, it's way shorter than the actual slip that I have underneath. And the slip is a 58, which is my size. Um, I don't know how their sizes go. I think I got this in a large or extra large. I'll put that on the screen with the size that I actually got. But I don't really like it. I wouldn't recommend this for E. Like, this is the one piece that I really would not recommend for E. It's giving tacky. Don't wear this, y'all. Please do not clown me for this outfit. Once again, we have another open abaya. This one didn't have any reviews, so I was just thinking like, it can't be that bad. My job, I didn't like it on the mannequin, so I didn't think that I would like it on myself. I just thought that I might like it. Like, it might be a surprise that I might like it, but I really don't, I don't know. Like, what is this? Oh, you know what? It has a button right here. Hold on. Oh, this is the look. <laughs> I did do something different and put the belt on the inside just to see how that would look. And I really like these two colors together. Like, I think these two colors look really nice together. They complement each other well. And I really like this pink color. If y'all know one thing about me, y'all know I love pink. But this is a hot mess. Like, who even designed this? Let me just turn around. Who, who designed this? Let me move the scarf out the way. Who designed this? This is a hot mess. This is really, this is a hot mess. Like, there's no way around it. This is just, don't, don't, don't wear this for E. Like, I know I said I was giving y'all E inspiration ideas, but let this be an inspiration for you not to buy this because this is a hot mess. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I actually really, really, really like this. Initially, when I tried it on, I was just like, this is a ghetto hot mess. This is ugly. But now that I'm looking at myself, I actually really do like it. What y'all think? I feel like I look so like, I don't know, like the white is so crisp. I didn't think this white hijab would match it, but I think it looks well. I thought this was like more of an ivory type of color, but it looks really well. It looks really cute. Look at the gold shoes that match with it. This is a really, really cute outfit. Once again, I have the belt on the inside just to give it a little razzle dazzle. So it comes with the slip. You get the whole outfit. You get everything but the scarf. You don't get the shoes, but I just thought that this was really, really cute. Oh my gosh. This is nice. The gold. Let me give y'all some details. It's like gold foil. It's so freaking cute. Like, I think this is my favorite outfit of the entire bunch. Tell me that y'all like it. Material is good. It kind of stretches a little bit. 
the underdress the material on that is a bit weird it doesn't have much gift to it it's okay i suppose i believe i got this in a large i actually got this in an extra large i'm sorry it was 32 dollars, so i think that was a really good price and i just think it's really cute even if you're not gonna wear this to eat you can definitely wear this like somewhere you can wear this to the master i believe like it is really really cute this is actually really cute too i like this i paid some cute stuff this is still the underdress from the last garment so you will have to get your own underdress i envisioned wearing black with this just to make the top pop but i think this is really cute look see these fringes this is nice this is what i thought the black abaya would give but it did not the material is also like a linen type of material I do feel like it's a little short. I mean, it's not short. I typically like my stuff to the floor, so it's not that short. I think it's really cute, and this white hijab is still giving. This white hijab is really doing its thing today. I was real skeptical about the white, but it's doing what it's supposed to do. I have another satin dress, and I really like the color on this one, just because it matches my skin so well. No part of me, want to take off this white scarf so here it is again this dress i would not wear this for e just because look look this is what they have going on with it it's not really a belt it's just two strings i'm not going to turn all the way around just because the dress is not closed it is a zip up dress so i guess it goes like this i mean i i don't even need to like pull it tight or anything because it does like accentuate parts that i wish was not accentuated so i cannot personally wear this but if you a skinny girl hunty if you part of the itty bitty committee this dress was definitely made for you but as thickums this is not the dress for us the fit of it is just not for me but the material the material is super soft i think i got this in either a large or an extra large um the sleeves are nice it has those bishop sleeves again i like that about it this is definitely going back 100 percent and it even has like a split this is a split right here and it goes all the way down so you're definitely gonna have to wear something underneath this like some leggings or a slip or something like that because you don't want your whole business out in the world if you come across a windy day so Let's just move on to the last and final outfit. So this wasn't really me saving the best for last. It's just because I didn't know which scarf to wear with it. But I feel like the white works just because I have the matching white shoes. I have mixed feelings about this whole outfit. Like, so, okay. So it comes with this outer piece. And then it comes with this lavender slip and this belt. Um, I think the model in the picture has the belt on the inside. That's why I'm wearing it like that. It has some gold on it some gold decoration or whatever this outfit feels very traditional like this outfit feels like it's part of someone's culture but i'm not too sure how i feel about it like i love the color i feel like the fabric is super weird it clings to your body this slip underneath it has a weird freaking shape like even with the collar part look sorry that i see my neck but it's just very weird. The material, but it's very shiny. Like I feel like this outfit has a sheen on it that's just crazy. But I think it looks cute. I don't think it looks horrible. I mean, I feel like you can wear this for E, but I just feel like maybe I wouldn't wear it for E per se, but I think you should wear it. You should wear it for E, but I just don't think that this is my style. I never had a garment like this before, but I don't know how I feel about it. Like I don't hate it, but I also don't love it. And I'm all about loving my garment. Let me know what you guys think about this one. I think it's so pretty. The color, the color is nice. Like I love feminine colors. And I'm so surprised that this white hijab has like carried every single outfit. We might be on to something, okay? Life is all about learning and growing. And I felt like I learned that I can pull up a white hijab. My only concern is my makeup. Like, I'd be scared my makeup's gonna get all over it. But, honey, I done had this scarf on this whole video, and you don't see no makeup on this freaking hijab. So, white, white might really be my thing. Let me know what y'all think about this one specifically. Like, I know I asked y'all what y'all favorite outfit was and everything, but let me know what y'all think about this one specifically because I don't know how I feel about it. This is how it looks without the belt. I mean, ooh. I feel like I don't really have the body to be wearing a belt sometimes. 
but sometimes it'd be looking cute. Um, I don't know if the felt adds or take away from the outfit. It's just, I don't know. So this is what it looks like when it's like open. It's like a butterfly, bat wing kind of situation. If you're not Muslim, you probably are not used to that kind of thing, but that is a style. My first Eid, I wore something that was like butterfly or bat wing that's that and it looked at really nice but it was black it was black and gold but i'm just not sure how i feel about this one so definitely let me know what you guys think because i want to hear y'all opinions on it because i need to consult with someone about this before i step out my house with this on but that was my video that's everything that i have let me know what you guys think about the outfits down in the comments below if you made it to this part of the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already part of the gang 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 um to everyone who is subscribed thank you guys so much you know we just reached a thousand subscribers <laughs> that's my video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye